Hey guys, what's up? It's me, JFC Studios here, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the last thing that I got today for this little haul or whatever you want to say. It's a bendable Dr. Eggman figure. This thing is really nice. It's solid, nice, made of rubber and all that. It's really nice. Of course, let's get into the details and stuff. Of course, we got his head, which is actually removable. Surprisingly, there's a ball joint. But, since it's a ball joint, he finally has articulation! Yay! Of course. Of course, his head can rotate. And since it's a ball joint, it can move up. It can look up that far and down that far. And, of course can cock his head to the side a little bit but not too much and that's literally the only joint on this guy everything else about him is a bendable figure inside like not sure if you guys know about this but back in the day there was actually a joyride studio thing and they actually made the Sonic Adventure 2 battle ah my neck and <laughs> There was actually a Sonic Adventure 2 battle, Sonic and Shadow, and they have these relatively similar joints, which of course does not break their sculpt, which again is a good thing, for collector's reasons. And um, that's why there's a bunch of holes on Eggman's back. No, it's not because Eggman has scabies. I went through that. <laughs> no jokes aside though. Um, yeah, as you guys can see, this guy has several holes on him. I don't know if you guys can see that. But if you guys can somehow see that, then for one... Oh, there's one right there. And uh, a few more right there. They're on the hands. Yeah, if you guys can see that, then good for you. <laughs> Anyways, his sculpt and paint. The painting and the sculpting on this guy looks really good. Just as accurate as it is to the game model, of course, so I'll probably put a picture right right there if I'm lazy enough in production if I'm actually willing to do it in production but after this after these reviews that I got to do I got to do a Sonic Heroes Let's Play video and I got to get them all uploaded by tomorrow because by tomorrow I got some more things to do on YouTube and all that then I'll be behind <sighs> and I've already had deal with being behind on work and uh, yeah so yeah here's the Dr. Eggman figure of course poking him from the back he stands well but nonetheless though he stands pretty good next to the Drago next to the Dragonoid of course Drago is going to be taller than Eggman Deca sorry this guy had to be mentioned <laughs> sorry check out this review by the way if you want to Anyways, yeah, this Dr. Eggman, he has no other points of articulation, but he's a bendable figure. And as far as bendable figures go, I've already dealt with probably one or two of them before. One of them being, uh, I'm not sure if you know this, but there was a McDonald's Happy Meal toy for Adventure Time. Where, like, Jake, like, Jake the dog, you guys know him? Um, he had little bendable, like, he had wires in his legs. So you're able to actually pose him and all that. You're actually able to pose him without breaking the sculpt with joints. Which, of course, that was kind of groundbreaking at the time. Because, like, when I was a kid, I was like, wait, how is he doing that? <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, of course, here's Eggman. He has relatively the same stuff. The pose that I think I could get him in would be, like, put his arm behind his back, hand up his pointing finger up in the air, his legs slightly out, a good bend, and that, and pivot the ankle a little bit just to make it look like he's got a brilliant idea. <laughs> Um, 
I'm not sure if he looks good or anything, but eh, kind of has a little difficulty. There you go. Okay. I'm going to just use this to... Okay, that might be a little too tall, but anyways. Yeah, you guys get the point. So, let me just fix him back to a neutral stance. Okay. Okay. I'm going to fix this guy back to a neutral stance. Arms by his side, because that's how I'm always going to have this guy for now on. Just in a neutral stance, no poses or anything. Just play with him like a... You know? Yeah. Yeah, that's Eggman. And he comes with a little disc figurine thingy. Thingy, sorry. It's uh, E-102 Gamma. This guy was from the Sonic Adventure game. From 1999. Yeah, 99. Um, <laughs> yeah, this guy was pretty neat. He was pretty neat. Um, yeah, a cool thing that you could do with him is if you see this little, if you see this little notch and this little notch on the side, on the top it looks a little bit thick, that's because you could technically kind of transform it, I guess, from a little disc person to an actual little character, and then... <laughs> It looks adorable. <laughs> it looks adorable as a little fat, chunky sprite thingy. It looks adorable. <laughs> it's pixely, of course. The little rocket boosters and the feetsies to tra transform them back to disc form. You, of course, just pull up that and that, and there you go. You just angle the camera down. It, well... It rolls okay. I mean, of course, it doesn't roll as good as a Bakugan, of course, but it rolls. It rolls. At least it rolls. Let me just transform it back to a little disc thingy. Yeah, Gamma right here actually comes with a little stand to which you could plug it right into the lids of the feet. And that, of course, allows for him to stand up on his own. And I'm not going to lie, that's kind of adorable. <laughs> yeah. I find it kind of cute this guy to stand, on him, stand up on his own. Cool. Okay, that happened. I'll pick that up later. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. Time to compare this guy, this little Gamma. Like, like I've compared Eggman with the Deca Bakugan right there. I'm going to compare Gamma right here. To, oh wow, he landed on. Yeah, he landed pretty good again. We compare this little guy in height to this little dragonoid, and of course the dragonoid is slightly taller. Slightly taller. But, um, yeah. Sorry, this guy also had to be mentioned. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna quickly close this little guy back up. And put them away. Okay. And uh, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. And uh, yeah, that was pretty much it for the review of this little, the bendable Eggman figure and this little adorable E102 Gamma disc thingy. So <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe to see more. I'm JFC Studios, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.